send a son to be the savior of the world. Whoa, oh, savior of the world. God sent his son to be the savior of the world. Whoa, oh, savior of the world. We saw his son, and I'm now telling others about him. One door for forty. Savior of the world, whoa, oh, Savior of the world. God sent His Son to be the Savior of the world, whoa, oh, Savior of the world. We saw His Son, and I'm now telling others about Him. One joy for forty. It's the greatest story ever told It's the greatest story ever told It's the greatest story ever told It's the greatest Three days had passed, they lay in the tomb, the disciples were hiding up in their room. Then Jesus appeared with wounds in his hands. Oh, said his followers, we understand. He gave him a job, a great commission, head out to the world, take your net, your fishing. It still continues, North East, South West, spreading good news, hashtag blessed. It's the greatest story ever told. It's the greatest story ever told. It's the greatest story ever told. It's the greatest story. Heal Swan Kids, I have been loving learning from the Bible the last couple of weeks, the greatest story ever told. Today, we will have a look from the time that Jesus rose from the grave until He ascended to, the, to heaven. We will also learn more about the Great Commission, but more of that after the Bible story. Let's watch together. Although Jesus walked the earth and spoke of the promise of life through Him, His death caused a massive uproar throughout the land of Israel. Our Messiah had suffered a horrible death, and it didn't look like He was coming back. It was game over, they thought. End of the story. But as we know, three days later He was back, and the disciples didn't know what to do. They had believed Jesus was the Son of God, but to see that happen in front of their eyes was incredible. Two of his followers were walking on the road that led to a town called Emmaus. Suddenly, Jesus joined them, but they didn't recognize him. What are you talking about? He asked. They were surprised he didn't know what had been happening in Jerusalem. So they told him, We have heard that Jesus is alive, they said, but we haven't seen him. They didn't know it, but they were talking to Jesus. He explained the Bible to them, quoting the writings of the prophets in the Old Testament. They invited him to stay with them, and when they sat down to eat, Jesus took the bread and blessed it. Suddenly, their eyes were opened, and they saw that it was Jesus. Then, just as quickly as he had appeared to them, Jesus disappeared. Imagine the story these two had to tell the other disciples. What an incredible experience! Before Jesus returned to heaven, he said to his followers, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything I command. This was called the Great Commission. It encourages us to spread the name and message of Jesus to as many people as we can. We will continue learning about how the followers of Jesus shared His message throughout the world as we continue with the greatest story ever told. Yilson Kids, I just love today's big point. We all have a mission from Jesus. We are going to be looking at three points together and I'm going to start us off with point number one, which is this, shout it out! Yilson Kids, have you ever had such good news that you just felt that you're gonna burst because you just wanna share it with everyone? Or maybe you're sitting there thinking, but I've never really had that good news to share that make me wanna burst. Well, the good news is that by the end of today, you will not only have 
the best of the best of the good news, you will have the greatest news of all to share. Yilson Kitts, did you know that the word gospel actually means good news? Can you remember the first time you heard the good news of Jesus? I can remember I was about seven years old when I heard about Jesus and how much He loves me, that He died on a cross for me, forgave my sin, that He rose again and that He is preparing a place in heaven for me. Let's read what it says in Romans 3 verse 25. It says the following, For God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed His life, shedding His blood. The gospel is good news for us to share. It's the best news that makes us want to shout it out. Can you shout out the big, the first point to me? See what I did there? You got it. Now point number two is this, it's to the ends of the earth. Now that we have this good news, what do we do with it? We take it to the ends of the, the world, of course. In 1 Timothy 2, verse 3 to 4, it says, This is good and pleasing God our Saviour, who wants all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. That's our mission, Yil Sankets, to share this good news with everyone. In Romans, in Mark 16, verse 15 to 16, it says, He said to them, Go into all the world, preach the good news to everyone. Anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved, but anyone who does not, will, does not believe will be punished. Jesus wants the good news to be heard by everyone in the world. Remember earlier, I spoke about the Great Commission. Well, we're gonna have a look at exactly what that Great Commission is. And it's found in Matthew 28, verse 19 to 20. And it says this, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded them to do. And surely I am with you always until the very end of age. Did you catch that, Yilson kids? Did you realize what our big mission is? It's to make disciples and spread the good news of Jesus. But did you hear that last part where Jesus said that He will always be with us? And sometimes it might be like, feel like a daunting task to share the good news, but you can have the confidence that Jesus is always with you and He will give you the courage to share the good news to the ends of the earth. Point number two again, to the ends of the earth. Now our final point for today is this, point number three, a familiar stranger. Do you remember in our Bible story, it spoke about some of the disciples who were on their way to a town called Emmaus? Now Jesus, after Jesus died and rose again, He appeared to some of His disciples. And as His disciples were busy walking, He appeared next to them, but they didn't recognize that it was Jesus, but they knew that there was something familiar about it. Now, as they were walking, Jesus asked them, so what has been happening? And the disciples is telling Jesus about Jesus dying on a cross and how He rose again. But you know what's the funniest part of that story? Yet the disciples are walking with Jesus, telling Jesus about Jesus, but they don't realize it's Jesus standing right next to them. I mean, what? Eh? What is that? And Yilson kids, I want to read another scripture for you. And it's in Luke 24, verse 31 to 32. And it says this, Then their eyes were opened and they recognized Him and He disappeared from their sight. They ask each other, were not our hearts burning within us while He talked with us on the road and opened the Scriptures to us? Hilson kids, imagine Jesus appearing in flesh for you. He is always with you. That's why you never have to be scared to share the good news because He is sharing it with you. He is with you when you share the good news. Hilson kids, are you ready to take on the greatest mission of your life? If you are, why don't you jump up with me and let's stand up straight and make it like super official. And I'm going to say my name at some point, but when I say my name, you say your name. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm Melissa, have a mission from Jesus. Let's say it again, but remember to say your own name. I'm Melissa, have a mission from Jesus. Are you ready to take on the greatest mission of your life, to shout out the good news to the ends of the earth for everyone to hear? Why don't we pray and ask God to give us the courage to keep doing that? Let's close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank You that You died on the cross and rose again. 
Thank you that we can have the courage to know that you are always with us as we spread the good news to everyone to hear. Help us to be bold and brave as we take on this mission. In Jesus' name, amen. Heels and kids, we are about to go into a praise song and we are singing, Thank You, Jesus. Happy singing. I just love that song, thanking Jesus for all he's done for us. 
Hilson Kids, maybe today you have listened to this message and you also want to take on this great mission that Jesus gave us. Maybe today is the first time that you have heard the good news and you would love to give your heart to Jesus. Well, why don't you pray this very special prayer with us? And if that is you, why don't you stand up and put your hand on your heart and we'll pray this together and all of your Hilson Kids friends will pray this with you. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, today I ask you to come into my life and be my best friend. Forgive me of all the things I've done wrong. I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross for my sins. Help me to love you and live for you every day because of Jesus. Today I am a Christian. Amen.